Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we've got a book haul. These actually were, oh Jesus, please, I just dropped them on the floor. Um, I got these books actually from, um, from charity shops, um, I got them about a couple of weeks ago and I've completely forgot to do this, but, uh, this, this video, I haven't done it in a while. Well, I've been doing it for a while, and then until I realised that I had today off, and I thought, well, might as well start doing this because first book call. Yes, I know they're from charity shops, but these books really catch my eye, and I'll explain to you why in a minute. Um, the first two books I got is these ones. So we have the, but is this by Judy? Kagawa, um, The Iron King. So this one's that, um, it's interesting because not only is the cover, it's um, like a greeny blue, kind of like turquoise, turquoise, I mean, like turquoise, um, and that. Um, so just because you can't see them doesn't mean they're not what they aren't watching. So this is more of a, well, I haven't actually started reading it because I'm currently reading a different book at the moment. But this actually just, this, I don't know how to explain it, but the writing of it, I need, do need to find the collection. The most of the books I've got actually are, need to get rest of the collections on them, so I will need to get that. But the back of the blurb on him says, My name is Mega Chase. In less than 24 hours, I was 16. Countless stories and songs have been written about this wonderful age. When a girl find, finds true love and her star shines for her, I don't think it will be that way for me. Now, that was like, well, that's simple enough, because I don't have anything like that when I was 16. Anyway, so Megan Chase has a secret destiny, one she could have never imagined. Something has always felt slightly off in Megan's life, ever since her father disappeared with her, her eyes when she was six. Okay. She was never quite fitted in at school, or at a home. When a dark stranger begins watching her for, uh, from afar and her little brother is taken, Megan senses that everything she knows is about to, going to, is going to, about to change. She could have never guessed the truth. Megan is the daughter of a fairy king and a pawn, a pawn in a deadly war. Now Megan will have the choice between a normal life or a magical destin destiny and between her best friend and her darkly dangerous prince. It's time to Megan to enter the fairy world. And I was like, that sounds pretty good. If you have seen any of these books, please comment down below if you have read them and um, tell me what you think of these books. Um, and that's, so that's The Iron King. I'll put them up there. Then, obviously, to go with the same book is The Iron Queen. So this one on the bottom says, Sun Fae's Ice Melt, here's what's left the Iron Fae. And then, obviously, there is other ones as well. On the back it says Iron Knight, and I um, know there's other ones. So you might see those very soon, I'm guessing, when I actually get actually find them. So this one on the back here says, it's less In less than 24 hours, I've been 17. Uh, although technically I actually, I won't actually be turning 17. I've been in the never never too long when you're a fairy and so you don't age. Uh, so while a year has passed in the real world, age wise I'm probably only a few days older than I went in. In real life I've changed so much I don't even recognise myself. So she's gone into this fairy because so on that book she's actually gone into the fairy world. So kind of ruins it for the second bit but it doesn't matter because I don't actually know the whole prophecy of what's going on. So it says, my name is Megan Chase, uh, I thought it was over, that my time was with Faye, the impossible choices I had to make, the sa oh my god, the sacrifices of those I loved was behind me, but a storm was approaching and an army of Iron Faye that would drag me back, kicking and screaming, drag me away from the banished, banished prince who sworn to stand by, by my side, drag me into the core of conflict so powerful, I'm not sure anyone can survive it. This time, there'll be no turning back. So, I can't wait to find out what the other book does say, because there it is, actually, The Iron King, Winter, um, The Iron Daughter. So, this one's actually the third book, so The Iron Daughter is actually the second book, by the looks of it. Then you do have The Iron Knight, which is the last book. So, I need to get The Iron Knight and The Iron Daughter. So, this is kind of the third book, so I am a bit disappointed I only forgot to find those ones in there. But it doesn't matter. Um... Oh. 
Okay, so this next perk is if you. So I do apologize right now. I know my TV's on because I'm currently watching Team Wolf at the moment. So yeah, I'm literally watching my series. So sorry if you can see that it's not on. That's why it's loud. But if you can hear some kind of soaring at the back, um, it's because um, Couple Gardens um, are up past me. Um, it's actually doing some garden work or something. So I do apologize that if you hear that. So the next book is from the two rivers so it's a nice ice blue colour I really do like this is, book is by Robert Do Robert Jordan Robert Jordan and says with the will of time Jordan has come to dominate the world token begin to uh, reveal the New York Times so that is that so this one also does have an wine says to the blights as well so on the back it says the world turns and the greatest fancy of adventure of all time begins for the two rivers Life in Edmond's field has been pretty boring for Rad Thor and his friends until a strange young woman arrives in their village. If I do pronounce any of these wrongs, I do apologise. As I said in many, many videos, I can't pronounce words properly. So, hmm. so Ma Maureen is, a, is an, as a say, say a magician with the ability to wield the one in the one powered one powder one power. Uh. And she brings warning of terrible evil awakening in the world. That very night, the village is attacked by bloodthirsty Trollocs, a fearsome tribe of beast men, thought to be no more than a myth. As em um, Emerald's fields burns, Morin and her warrior guardian helps Rand and his companions to escape. But it's only the beginning of their travels. For Mor for Mor oh my God, Moraine believes Rad Athor is the dragon reborn, and that he is fated to unite the worlds against the rising darkness and lead the fight against as being so powerful and easy, it's known simply as the Dark One. Now, when I read that, I was like, that's quite intriguing, and obviously, I haven't read books like this big in like a very long time. Um, even though I do have this one that I've already got, but I haven't actually started that book. Yes, and then obviously I've got one Twilight book, which which is stupid. Ow. Um. So yeah. So as I was reading the blurb in this when I was in the shop, I saw the dark one. It kind of reminded me of Once Upon a Time. So I don't know why or anything like that, but I thought. Uh. But I'm going to read this book, and I will see. I'll let you know, guys, how it is because it seems good. And uh, there's that. I did these those ones last. Then I have the two uh, books by Karen Slaughter. I'm not too sure which one's the first one. So um, uh, da, 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 da. okay, it seems that this one's the first one. I'm gonna do this. So the cover is very like crime self with ones from the like uh, more crimes. So it says a small town, a brutal murder, a violent killer. Okay, this is by Karen Slaughter. The number one bestseller author, Blindsided, and you can see in the writing it says, Why hasn't so forsaken me? So it's not too bad on that. It says on the back, Don't read this alone, but don't read this after dark, but do read it, Daily Mirror. <laughs> the sleepy town of Hartsdale, Georgia, is, jolted, is jolted, jolted into panic when Sarah Linton, the parrot. Oh crap. Parrot. Something and a medical examiner finds Syllable Adams dead in a local diner, as well as being being virtually raped. Um, Syllable has been cut two deep knife wounds from a leather cross over her stomach. Ouch! When a second victim is found, crucified, only a few days later, it becomes uh, clear that Syllable's brutal murder wasn't one of attack. When Sa um, Sarah and police chief uh, Jeffrey Troll Trollover. Are dealing with a, a, a seasonal sexual predator, a violent serial killer. So, hmm. I didn't actually read the back of Black of there, I just kind of got the book of the book. Sounds really odd, but some of the books are like, oh, okay, I like the cover, but I want to read the back and see what's inside it. So the cover really did get me, and I really wanted it, so I got that. So that is one of them. So this is going to be a very interesting book to read. Obviously, I will do a review on them for you guys, so you know. And then the other book that I've got is the uh, Fractured. Fractured. So I think this is the um, fourth from the last book. So this Karen Slaughter does have quite a few books to get. And like I said, if you do know these authors 
and you know the book so please leave a comment down below and i will obviously uh, read your comments and like them because i want to know more about these so this one says a broken window a bloody footprint and a murder hunt begins so factor she belongs to me so this <clears throat> book is obviously going to be about a different murder which i am loving murders at the moment so interesting it says on here when Atlanta's housewife abigail Capino comes home and expect unexpectedly one afternoon she walks into a nightmare. A broken window, a bloody footstep on the stairs, and most devastating of all, the horror sight inside of her teenage daughter lying on the landing. A man standing over her with a bloody knife. Struggle which it follows changes Abigail's life forever. When the local police miss, makes a misdiagnosis which only threatens the investigation, Place the young girl's life in danger. The cases are handed over to Special Agent Will Trent of the cr uh, Criminal Us. Oh, I'll just say the CAT uh, team thing. I can't <laughs> pronounce the word. Uh, paired with de Detective Faith Mitchell, a woman who's represented him for their first meeting. So I'm guessing them two met in the first book. Um, and that so. So that should be interesting. But in the relentless of heat of Georgia summer, Will. And Faith uh, realised that they must work together to find the brutal killer who has targeted one of the Len uh, blah, 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 Atlanta's wealthiest and most privileged communities before it's too late. So this one, I did read the back. It does have like a, probably stain on C because it is a book from the charity shop. But I will be finding these other books and order be ordering them. So not only does the book look pretty awesome, but it's loads of murderers and things. Uh, then these ones, um, I haven't got the full set from them. I have only got five of the books from the, 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 the thing. So, this is the first one. It's called Blood Moon. So the author is Alexandra Harvey. It says on here, what happens when you love become all your hate? So obviously it does look like it's going to be a blood moon. I don't think I've actually ever seen a bit like a blood moon or red moon, whatever it says it, um, that... Same with the blue moon. I know there's a very, they can have a blue moon. I've never seen eclipse either. So there's a lot of things I haven't seen about the moons. Hopefully I'll see it one day. So on the back, it does just have the little blurb. And let's see. I can tell, still taste his blood, Lucy. I can smell it everywhere. It's in the grass, in the air, or me. I'm not safe. When the vampires tribe, the convened for the red blood, blood moon ceremonies. Solid Drake is plunged into a battle and with her fer, fernal nature. The Drake's brother, the Drake brothers, has been raised knowing that, oh my God, knowing they had to protect their younger sister at all costs. But forbidden magic and a mysterious stranger has put them all, their, all of them in terrible danger. Nicholas is going to have to make a difficult choice between his girlfriend Lucy and his sister Solange, blood or love. So um, this was like, ow, oh, that must be her. So this one does have to, does include vampires. Yes or no? So on here, there's four books. I've got some other, uh, these ones kind of look different to the ones I've got, but they're kind of not. So that was the first one I got. And this is the second, I think, sorry, wait, let me think. I don't know. This, this one's just like, I um, think. So anyway, this one is called Marked. So this one is by, um, okay, no, that seems to be a different one. I'm so confused. Uh, okay, so that Blood Moon is a different book. Sorry, guys. Whoops. But it does look the same. Okay, maybe I've just read them wrong. Like always. So this one is called Marcus by PC and Kristen Cast. So obviously this one, I think it was another vampire one, yeah? So the bad news was that I have moved into a house of night, a private boarding school known all, by, all of my friends are the vampire finishing school where I would spend the next four years going through bizarre and unnameable physical changes, as well as a total permanent life shake-up. And that's only, the ho if, that's only if the whole process didn't kill me. But the good news was that I wouldn't have to go take the germ oh my god, geometry test tomorrow. Ugh. And then it says, when 16-year-old Zoe is marked by the tracker, she knows her old life is over. Now she has to leave her friends and family to join the House of Night School. There's only one subject uh, Zoe needs to study. Vampire 101. So, it's simple. If you fail, you die. So, not only did the cover get me. Because you can look at that cover though. Mm. 
So obviously they have two other books on here as well, Betrayed and Chosen. I think I've only got a few. I will have to like double check for these books. Like, ugh. But this one seems to be more of a vampire. So um, if you guys have seen the anime Vampire Night or the Twilight series, it's kind of have a bit of mixture with that in it. Because it kind of reminds me of the tracker from Twilight and then the vampire school from Vampire Night. So there's a bit of a both into it. But, you know, it's pretty good. Actually pretty good. I just I just love the way the cover looks as well. Looks pretty good. Then the next one is I do need to take the sticker off, but this one is called Chosen. And then the back, obviously this one is in orange. The other one was pink. Uh, I guess it had gone okay with Steve Ray. I mean, she had she had agreed to meet me tomorrow, but she hadn't tried to bite me, which was a plus. Of course, the whole trying to eat the street person thing was highly disturbing. Ooh. Okay, wait, what? Huh. So his best friend, C Ray, is an undead and an eel. Eel zombie. Okay. Kind of way, not in a cool vampire kind of way. She's struggling to retain her humanity and Zoe doesn't have a clue how to help. But she does know that anything they discover must kept secret. Unfortunately, trust has become a rare com commodity. Sinister forces are at work at House of Night. At the House of Night, where the line cut between friends and enemies is becoming strange. Oh my God! Why can't I speak? Distraint, dangerously blurred. Ha! Got the word. So this one's maybe about a friend, as always, friend of a zombie. Like, try not to eat. Tries to eat her. That's interesting. Hmm. That's gonna be an interesting book to read. So that one's good. What about her going to vampires? Then one about zombies. Okay, then this is probably, I don't know if this is the third book or whatever. I have to let you guys know on them. But this one is called Untamed. And look at the cover. That is so freaking awesome. I've got hiccups. Uh. So this one is called Untamed. It says, on, I saw the end of everything. Aphrodite's voice was haunted as her phrase. I saw it all happening because you were dead. Zoe. Your death made it happen. Whoa. Ah, hell, I said. Then my knees gave way and I had to sit down. A week ago, Zoe had a group of special friends. Three boyfriends. Bloody hell, she gets around. And a kind of clear conscience. Con oh, my God. Conscience con science. <laughs> Blah. Now she has none of the above. Lucky Ice Queen Aphrodite is showing signs of melting and ex room. Uh, Rumi Steve Ray isn't as dead as she thought. So Steve, uh, Steve Ray's now hanging out in tunnels with a freak with a, with freaks. Totally gross. Assuming she can get them to listen, Zoe's will need all of her friends. <clears throat> as events take a frightening turn at the house and at school, for vampires, shocking true tensions are about to come to light. Loyalties will be tested, and the ancient evil is about to rise again. Some days being special doesn't seem all that okay. So this one's kind of got ice cream. I, okay, so I don't know if this is like the third book, like I said, these are all different books, I don't know if they're first, second, whatever, but once I've collected the whole books, I will actually be reading from first to start, and I will give you the book reviews. At the moment, I am currently reading a book, which I will find me want to show this last book. Um, so obviously this is the, I think this one is the final book, so it's called, um, looks like it said Burned, so there, and this one's obviously in yellow, so you've got the colours, which I love how they actually done that with the covers. So on the back it says, oh, I've got floppy socks. You know, you you need to get yourself together. Here's a new slash for the only high high priestess you have left at this dang school. Zoe isn't dead, and believe me, I know dead. I've been there, done that, and got that freaking t-shirt. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like how they done that. And plus it's yellow. Okay, so okay. Zoe Redbird is the youngest high, um, high priestess in the House Knight of History and is the only person, vamp, vamp or legible, who can stop the evil, Nefret, from raising all kinds of immortal trouble. And she might just have the chance if she wasn't so busy being dead. Well, dead is too strong a word. Stevie Ray knows she can only bring her BFF back from her dead unscheduled VK in the other world. But it's going to take a lot more than hoping to bring Zoe back. 
Stevie Ray might have give up a few sex secrets of her own. Okay, so it tells me that obviously um, Zoe died in one of these books. So, hey, does matter. I don't know how she died. Don't know who did it. So I'm going to be looking forward to doing that. But then, yes, but the book that I'm actually trying to read... Um, I'm going to try and cover, have it covered. I'm actually kind of reading this one at the moment. From the Disney. As you can see, I'm literally nearly finished. So you guys will get a review of this book. At the moment, I'm enjoying it. Um... But also, guys, if you do have books and when you want to take them out, do you have some kind of book cover or something to go with it? Um, let me know in the link. Um, give me a like a link or something so where I can find a great book cover that doesn't get, you know, bent and tabled up and everything. That'd be great. So this is the book you will be finding out more about soon. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching, and that was my random book haul that I don't hardly ever do. Thank you guys so much for watching this again and I hope you guys have a fun day, enjoy it and I'll see you guys next time for another book haul, book review, you know what, hey, goodbye.